Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll see the topic electron transport system and how it is responsible for the conversion of FADH and NADH in the form of ATP. So let's first see some important points regarding electron transport system and later we'll see the mechanism. The site of electron transport system is the inner mitochondrial membrane. As we know that the mitochondria is a double membrane bound structure. The electron transport system is made up of a series of enzyme complexes which are present on the inner mitochondrial membrane. There are five different type of enzyme complexes involved. The first is complex 1 or also called NADH dehydrogenase. The second is complex 2 also called succinate dehydrogenase. The complex 3 is also known as cytochrome BC1 complex. While the complex 4 is called cytochrome oxidase or cytochrome A A3 complex. This complex 4 consists of two copper centers and the last complex is called complex 5 which is also called ATP synthase as it is directly involved in ATP synthesis. This enzyme complex ATP synthase consists of two parts. The first is F1 part having catalytic activity and the second part is the F0 part which acts as facilitated diffusion channel for movement of protons. Several different electron carriers are also involved with this enzyme complexes. Some of these electron carriers are nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide or NAD, some flavoproteins like FAD and FMN, cytochromes which are proteins having iron containing heme groups, iron sulfur proteins as well as ubiquinone or also called coenzyme Q. Now let's see the mechanism of electron transport system which is also called oxidative phosphorylation. So first we are going to see with respect to oxidation of NADH. The enzyme complex 1 or NADH dehydrogenase oxidizes one molecule of NADH into NAD plus and releases two electrons. These electrons are acquired by the electron carriers of complex 1. FMN or flavin mononucleotide is the first electron acceptor which then transfers the electron to iron sulfur proteins. Ubiquinone accepts the electron from iron sulfur proteins and get reduced into ubiquinol or UQH2. The flow of electrons through complex 1 causes the flow of 4 protons from the matrix to the perimitochondrial space. Thus, it acts as a proton pump. This ubiquinol is a mobile electron carrier which transfers the electron to the electron carriers of enzyme complex 3. Cytochrome B accepts the electron from ubiquinol which gets oxidized back to ubiquinone. The electron is transferred to the cytochrome C1 through iron sulfur proteins. The flow of electrons through complex 3 also causes the flow of 4 protons from matrix to perimitochondrial space. Electron from complex 3 is passed to the cytochrome C which is also a mobile electron carrier. The cytochrome C transfers the electron to complex 4 which is also known as cytochrome oxidase. Now this enzyme complex has two copper centers. First is called copper A and the second is copper B. This also results in the flow of two protons from the matrix. Now finally the two electrons is accepted by oxygen which acts as terminal acceptor of electrons and combines with two protons to ultimately form one molecule of water. The complex 5 or ATP synthase is not directly involved in electron transport system but it is required for formation of ATP. The flow of four protons from P side to N side through F0 part of complex 5 by facilitated diffusion results in the formation of one molecule of ATP. So oxidation of one molecule of NADH results in the flow of 10 proton from matrix to perimitochondrial space. Four protons through complex 1, four protons through complex 3 and two protons through complex 4. So as a result, oxidation of one molecule of NADH will cause flow of 10 protons and results in the formation of 2.5 molecules of ATP. The mechanism for ATP synthesis was given by Peter Michel and is called chemiosmotic hypothesis in which he stated that there are four basic requirements for ATP synthesis. The first being a membrane requirement. Second is proton pump to generate flow of protons. The third is a proton gradient and the final is ATP synthase enzyme. Now let's see the mechanism with respect to oxidation of FADH. This starts from the complex 2 which is also called succinate dehydrogenase. This is the same enzyme which was involved in oxidation of succinate into fumarate in the Krebs cycle. Two electrons released move through electron carriers of complex 2 and it's transferred to complex 3 and then finally to complex 4 and ultimately it is accepted by the terminal electron acceptor which is oxygen. 
Four protons are pumped from matrix to perimitochondrial space through complex 3 and two protons are pumped through complex 4 during the flow of two electrons. So if you calculate the number of ATP formed by oxidation of one molecule of FADH, then it comes out to be 1.5 ATP as a total of six proton flows from the matrix to the perimitochondrial site. So that's all for this video. If you have any queries regarding this topic, you can ask in the comment section below.